So everything is uh, together now, 
and it's now a complete different story because if I now uh, turn the engine still a little bit tight here I need a more axial play but you really can hear sucking in and the transfer uh, blow I'm not sure if you can really hear this but uh, I'm confident that it must run now and as you can see no, it's not, not really good to see but the piston is a little bit higher but as this exhaust port is a little bit high and big enough so I have no worries that the exhaust gas will escape still easily it's maybe 25% uh, less open now but the uh, intake from the upper side when the piston goes down is not more any more open and the cut what I make for the transfer is working perfect so uh, just get rid of the friction and we can start it. I'm curious, really curious. So there we have it. It's everything is uh, together now. Nice compression. You really hear the engine breathe. It just runs for a few seconds because the tank is very small, but it's also highly sensitive for adjustments. So I hope it will show me over you what it just showed me. Filling the tank and also these long tanks. Yeah, here you get very easy fuel, and it's get down to the, to the bottom. You must really adjust the, the needle. But let's see what you do. Almost. Yeah. Wonderful. Oops. Already too much. This is dangerous because it's bent already the corner rod if it's too much. Yep. Yeah, it's so hypersensitive, but it runs. with the adjustments but now I must fill it up again but it runs the engine that never runs because really this time is completely offset this intake tube should be much 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 lower about one half to two millimeters
I think with a smaller prop it will really uh, rev up a little bit because it's now actually pretty big. I don't know what it is. Four by four by hmm, six of seven. I don't know four by six. I think. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. So now we have again a nice new shiny piston for the spare box. This is my leftovers from the last years. And connecting rods and stuff. But yeah, if you have many engines and you repair so many, then you uh, get a lot of parts left over. And you see my nice engine collection. Just a little update because it's so much stuff. I actually have no more space, so I promised myself not to buy any more any engines. But it's so difficult, it's always the last one. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, see you the next time.